becomes the penguin. And uh, yeah, he's just, you know, a really pleasant, sweet guy. I mean, you know, everyone loves him. He has excellent dental hygiene. Bring him, bring him home. He does. Christmas. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, totally, totally. Yeah. What do you wear uh, for your teeth? Uh, they, they paint my teeth in yeah. nice, disgusting colors. So every time I see someone new on set, I have to tell them. This is paint, this isn't me. I brush my teeth, I floss, I'm very, very diligent about that, you know? Um, and then there's also a prosthetic nose, too, which is, which is really cool. Like, it's not, yeah. It's like, you know, the makeup and the hair and the look, I mean, not to, like, you know, tell myself short as an actor, but it does, you know, like, half the work, you know? It's like you're stepping into it and it's like, it's all there, you know? It's really, it's really cool. So Donal and uh, Jada, they both mentioned your relationships with their characters mm -hmm. and how strong that is. Tell us a little bit about your relationships with the main characters. With the and main how characters. That works out. Um, well, you know, I, as as we start the show, I uh, Jada is my boss. Mm -hmm. She uh, she's the one who teaches him everything about the world, the you know, the crime underbelly of Gotham City, and um, you know. In a way, she's very much like a mother figure, you know, like, uh, however, the Penguin's desire for power is relentless, and he will use absolutely anyone to get what he wants, and he will, you know, do whatever it takes to, you know, so, you know, like, it, it's, with Jada, it's like an amazing, like, the two of them, like, begin so connected, and then, you know, but ultimately, they're not going to be able to, work. It, it, you know. What's the there's not room for two of them in the in, in, the, in Gotham City. You know? What's the relationship like with Bruce? With Bruce, uh, he, he I, uh, I, well, <laughs> I, I don't know what to say without giving stuff away. You know what I mean? <laughs> right. Um, but I will say, like, you know, it's sim it's very similar to the relationship that the Penguin, that everybody knows the Penguin to have with Bruce right. as he grows up. I mean. They're all they're very connected, and you know, they ultimately, you know, later on as we know, they do need each other. So it's like they have very little interaction so far in the show, but like they're aware, like, but Penguin is aware of Bruce. You know, Bruce is in the center of this revolving. You know, the world is sort of revolving around him, and he's like finding himself. And the penguin is aware of him and, you know, has his eye on him as someone, you know, a future ally or a future, you know, tool, I guess, to get what he wants. What's, you know? what's the background on, background on the Cobblepot family? Wealthy? They, they, are they coming from the uh, different, different, wrong side of tracks or uh, different takes, and, you know? Right. And then, well, yeah, that's the thing is, like, things can be really, uh, <laughs> you know, contradictory if you go through the whole thing. But, you know, we're coming from it. Where they, you know, there is, there is or was money there, um, and uh, but but uh, but I have a feeling like that has gone away to a certain extent. They're not like living in luxury or anything. And 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 Oswald is a self-made man. You know, he he is everything that he's gotten is on his own is of his own tenacity. You know, so yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Thanks, Thanks, guys. guys.